Hi there. In this video, we're going to look at performing weighted, cal weighted average calculations in Excel. Uh, here's my scenario. I've got students and I've got the percentage mark that they've achieved for the five exams within a single academic year. Now, what you can see is, is if I wanted to create an overall end of year average, well, if it was a normal average calculation, I would just use the normal average function. It would add up all the percentages and then divide by the number of percentages. But in this scenario, each exam is weighted. So you can see, for example, term one's uh, uh, exam, only 15% of the overall year's percentage. Um, coursework, 30%. A multiple choice only 10%. So I've got to uh, consider these weightings for each exam when I calculate my overall percentage at the end of the year. Now I have done a version of the calculation in here just to help explain uh, how the weighted uh, average is calculated but I'm going to show you later on a much easier way, much more efficient way of uh, performing this calculation. But as it is, it will help uh, explain exactly what's going on. So in order to calculate a weighted average, what you do is you multiply each value by its weight. So uh, in this example, the value is the percentage mark that the student has achieved, and you multiply it by the weighting for that value. You then add it to the next value times weighting, then add it to the next value times weighting, et cetera, et cetera. So you can see that's exactly what I've done here. It's the value times the weighting plus the value times the weighting plus the value times the weighting, so on and so forth. So once you've got that result, you then divide this answer here by the sum of all the weightings. So that is how the weighted average is calculated. The only thing is you can imagine how tedious this will become if you had say a thousand values and a thousand weightings. This bit here would become incredibly long and tedious to actually write as a formula. So I'm going to show you a better way of performing this calculation. I'm just going to delete this. And what we're going to use is something called sum product. Sum product. Great little function that will help us here. You can see that some product has um, multiple multiple arguments, array one, array two, array three, array four, etc., etc. Now, an array is just basically uh, a range of cells, and what it will do is it will automatically uh, multiply one array by another array. So our first array would be the array of values, the array of marks that Bob achieved, comma. The second array would be the uh, uh, range of cells that contains the weighting for each of these exams. So what's going to happen here is that um, some product will multiply the first value in the first array by the first value in the second array. It will then add it, hence the name sum there, sum the product, the product is the multiplication, summing is the summing up. It will then add it to the multiplication of the second value in the first array by the second value in the second array. Now essentially that's exactly what we were doing before with our longer formula, but you can see how much easier that is to write than doing it kind of manually in longhand. And obviously you could have, you know, two arrays that were a thousand uh, cells big and it, you know it's not going to make any difference to the length of your formula here. So all we then need to do is sum up the weights and we have the complete formula. Now just a little bit extra here obviously I want to better copy this formula down the rest of this column. In order to do that I am going to need to fix my reference to the weighting row so that as we copy down, we don't lose our reference to that. So I'm just going to select that reference. Pressing F4 on my keyboard will fix it. And select that reference there. F4 again will fix it. OK, so Control Enter to get the answer. Stay in the cell. And I'm just going to format it as a percentage and copy it down. 
and there I have all my end of year percentage marks. Okay, so some product is the way to go if you're trying to calculate weighted averages. Brilliant if you have rather large data sets and you don't want to write that long-handed form of the formula. Hopefully that's been useful. Thanks very much for listening.